I'm in the Santi Black. Um, I look young, but I'm 17. That, that's young. <laughs> I look younger than I am, okay? Uh, uh, I'm Drew Drew, I'm 21. Ethan Harisi, I'm 18. Uh, Khalil Harris, I'm 15. I'm Marquise Rodriguez, I'm 22. Do you all believe that you're perceived as a threat? Yes. Right here, right now? Yes. 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 Yeah. All the time. Being from the Bronx, like, I, I, I want, I, I'm definitely blessed to say that I've never been handcuffed or I've been thrown to the ground by a police officer, but it's that it's, sometimes it's that subtle T that hurts yes. the most. I was walking to school one day and two officers came up to me and said, where are you headed? Can I see what's in your backpack? And it's just something that small that affects you for a very long time. Then I'm asking myself, what do I look like? Like, do I, do I look like a criminal? What frustrates me the most about that is like, we're, we are not allowed as children of color to be kids. You should have been able to go to school at 8 a.m. and take your test That's and right. focus on that, but you couldn't. I couldn't. And that, like, you literally had hours of your day robbed from you because for nothing. There's a policing of our bodies that is like so uh, disproportionate. It, it doesn't make any sense. It's no surprise that we're still seeing this assumption of guilt, specifically when we look at uh, black and brown people. How and why would you say it's persisted? When they see us, too often, not always, too often, there is a presumption of guilt and the automatic criminalization of these black and brown bodies. I believe there's fear. There's fear of progress. There's fear of sexual interaction hmm. with their women. There's fear of taking over the White House and taking over the country. There's fear of progress. So when do you think they will actually see us, i.e. black and brown? As we continue having projects like this, as we continue to have our voices heard, as we continue to progress in politics, as we continue to raise our families, as we continue to show who we are, that eventually happens. You look at the generation we have now, as opposed to 10 years ago, definitely 40 years ago. There's just, there's way too much work to be done. I don't um, know about our lifetime. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully at the next one. Yeah. I was in a conversation with, with my lady the other day and we actually were talking, I was like, I don't know what the beginning of white supremacy is. And it's more recent than you'd think. When the conception of white happens and then the conception of white supremacy is sort of built to justify slavery and the, the, the architecture of race. And it's so laughable, but the archetypes that are built in, the stereotypes that are used to oppress people, right? are still very much in the language today. They sure. were very much in the language and the narrative about the kids in 1989, right? Like, they're, they're animals, they're yeah. thugs, it's a wolf pack. Wild like, and out marauders. Exactly, like they're not in control of their emotions. These are wild children. Mm -hmm. They are somehow, and we are still very much inside of that conversation because we haven't updated, and again, I say wait, we, we have not updated those cultural narratives. So I think that's part of what this is. There is a humanity there that is universal. And if you don't see that, something's really deeply broken inside of you. And I think that's what's so powerful about this. That's what's so powerful about changing the narrative. Like come inside of this household, see this family, see the damage that's done, see the pain that they're living in because of this injustice that's being done to them and tell me you don't relate to that. And if you don't, it's not a problem with the show. Something's fucked up in you. Central Park Five as they were dubbed that they aren't some type of wolf pack. They aren't criminals. They're, they were young boys who had dreams, goals, aspirations, who had so much going on for them. And then this one horrible event kind of put all of that stopped it in his tracks.